Hey everyone, I'm Greg. And I'm Maddie. And today we are going for a walk through the jungles of Bali. But this is a walk with a difference. Yeah. Because we have spears. Indeed. And very big bags. Yep. What on earth are we doing? Bali is beautiful, but it has a rubbish problem. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's trash. It's on the side of the roads, it's next to the rivers. So today, we are on a trash walk to pick up as much of it as possible, and we're here with Sampa Juja. And Sampa Juja is ran by a man called John Hardy. And Sampa Juja means garbage honest. Honest garbage. This one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Jackpot. So John, what's the big problem here in Bali? Well, the problem in Bali is that trash was always the biodegradable. Banana leaves, palm leaves, and they just chucked it in the ditch and it composted. But now they're eating everything that's wrapped in plastic and they just do the same thing. They throw it in the side. Uh -huh. Rubbish. Okay. Get it. So this here, is one of the main culprits. It's one of the sugary drinks that's being packaged in these plastic cups and they are just everywhere. But the problem is people just don't know how to dispose of them properly. There isn't the infrastructure for disposing of rubbish like we have in the UK or in the States. But again, if they were worth something. Yeah, exactly. So this is the thing. If people knew that that plastic was, was worth something. If there was a coupon something, on the back. Yeah. Then people might, might do something different with it. You got it! Oh. Two bottles! Double bottle! <laughs> hey. What are you encouraging the local people to do? Bring this dry plastic to Sampa Jujur. We weigh them and we give them cash. It's that simple. The local people are able to get cash for their trash. Exactly. <laughs> Trash walks like these help to spread the word about Sampa Juja, but none of this could happen without lots of help. This is Baxter, Sampa Juja's resident designer. So here's the main thing, right? One man's trash is another man's treasure. Because people don't realize when they see these lying around that these are worth money. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll start with the bottle. It's not as exciting. 2,000 rupees a kilo, which is pretty good. But this one right here, the king, 8,000 rupees a kilo. 8,000. So that's what Sampa Juja is doing. It's collecting it and then it's selling it up the chain. Yeah? Up the chain, yeah. So to the people that then reuse it yeah. and turn it aluminum back into aluminum and plastics into plastics. Gotcha. What you found? Go on, get it. This is worth a lot of money, aluminium cans. Yep. So if the locals see people picking up rubbish and know that it's worth something, they are much more likely to bring it to Sampa Juju or recycle it in the future. Gotcha. So I've just speared a bottle. Um, we could sell this, right? We could collect it and we could send it up the chain and right. sell it and get some money in the plastic. Yep. But you have a better idea. But I have this thing called HDPE plastic, yep. which is what the bottle cap is made of, Okay. which is different than the PET, which mm -hmm. is what this is made of. What we can do with this is melt it down, extrude it, and turn it into 3D printing filament. What? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go do in the <laughs> workshop right now. Using yeah. the bottle caps. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Baxter's workshop. This is where he's attempting something brand new. This is groundbreaking stuff today, and we're going to help to try and turn these. This is trash into something that resembles one of these. It's a trash can. So what better than to turn trash into a trash can? And we're going to do it using something that Baxter's been working on here. This is a modified 3D printer. But to make one of these, we're going to need a lot of these. Luckily, Sampa Juju have collected a lot of bottle caps on their trash walks, but before we use them, we need to give them a clean. To turn the bottle caps into 3D printing filament, Baxter and his team use two special machines. This is a plastic shredder. The bottle caps get poured into a funnel onto a set of spinning metal teeth. These grind up the bottle caps into tiny little pieces of shredded plastic that fall out of the bottom to be collected in a bag. Before the next step, the shredded plastic has to be completely dry, so to get rid of any excess water, it's laid out on a tray and placed in a sunny spot for a few hours. 
The second machine is called an extruder and it gets really hot. The shredded plastic is poured into a funnel which feeds into a metal pipe. Inside the pipe, the plastic gets so hot that it melts into a goo and squeezes out of the nozzle at the end like plastic spaghetti. Baxter then carefully guides the hot plastic onto a spinning reel where it starts to cool and harden into 3D printing filament. So here it is, we have successfully upcycled uh, the little bottle caps into this, the filament to go in a 3D printer. Now, this is interesting. This would normally cost about $20 for a kilogram. And what did this cost? Nothing, because it's all just from the collected trash. How cool is that? Right, here you go, Mads. That is brilliant. Right, so now we need to put this recycled filament into the modified 3D printer. Baxter, where does this go? How does it work? So now we have our filament, we can load it into the machine. Okay. It's pretty easy. So all you're doing is just feeding the plastic spaghetti <laughs> down into this little motor here. Yep. And then it gets heated up and then it just squeezes through a little bit like a hot glue gun. Filament's loaded and the 3D printer's ready to go, but first we need to give it some instructions. So Baxter has designed our trash can, our rubbish bin, on the computer, and we're sending that information from the computer to the 3D printer. But because this is the first time we have attempted to use the recycled filament, we're going to make a half size, just a little rubbish bin to start with. Um, are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Let's do it! Okay, you ready, Greg? Yeah. Okay. Just Push that button. Oh, that's so cool. And how long do you think it's going to take to print our half size trash can? Well, it'll probably take about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how fast we, we set it to. An hour and a half to two hours, if it works. <laughs> 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 Which is a big question, as this is the first time it's been done. All right. Good luck. Good luck, little guy. Okay, Greg, what is happening? What's happening? Okay, so a 3D printer builds an object in layers. So right now it's building the bottom layer, and then it's gonna build the layer on top of it. And that's the base, so that's solid. But then once you get to the edges, if you were to cut slices through our trash can, it's just the outside like that, like a ring. So it's gonna build a bottom layer, then it's gonna eventually turn into a ring, and another ring, another ring, and when you stick all them on top of each other, which is what's happening, you're gonna end up with our trash can. This is a big deal. <laughs> right, just to put this into perspective, this is our baby trash can granted at the moment. Baby trash can. But it took 10 bottle caps, 10 bottle caps that were picked off the street, washed and turned into a trash can. We have mm. literally turned trash into a trash can. That is so exciting. That's so good. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> we should say that rubbish, trash, is not just a problem here. It's a problem all the way across the world. And, and one thing, try not to use plastic bottles like this. We call them single-use plastic. You use them and then you throw them away. And it is, it, that is not cool. Try instead to use bottles that you can use over and over again. But that trash has a value. As we've seen with Sampa Juja, it can be sold. But also, now there's this exciting potential to recycle it, to upcycle it into something like this. Yeah, I mean, this is just a baby trash can, but what the future holds, we don't know yet. It's no. really exciting. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Massive thank you to Baxter, you. and we will see you very soon on my channel. Bye! Bye! Hey, Greg and Maddie. It's been a week since you guys left, and there's been a lot of improvements with the machine and the filament. I won't get into technical details, but we've made this much filament and we've been able to produce this, which is a closed shape vase for flowers. Anyways, lots to improve on still, but we're making progress and I wanted to share what happened so far. Hope to talk to you soon.